Oh, what the hell is that thing? Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Give It A Go. Today we're trying out Curse of the Dead Gods. Um, I literally know nothing about this game. I played a little bit of, well, played a little bit of it, that's a lie. I did play a little bit of it just to see how it runs. Um, it's a bit like Hades, in a sense, that it's like a roguelike, um, like, you know, death run, you know, you die, that's it, you're dead, restart the level, it's all randomly generated. Um, but yeah, let's just gonna start a new game straight from scratch. So I've, I've played a little bit of it, I haven't really gone too, deep, too much into it. So let's just start a new game, straight from the get go. Okay. Oh no. Oh dear. We're trapped in a cave. Okay, so I have a torch. I'm using a 360 controller because it recommends that you use a controller. So it has a very top-down feel to it already. I like the art style first, straight away. I can a allows me to swipe. Oh, without the light. Okay, there's an icon at the bottom that tells you when you're dark. So you can swipe. I have a gun. Okay, so every time I use an attack, one of those pips underneath the character goes away. No idea what those on the right hand side mean yet. I'm assuming the 1000 out of 1000 is my health. Okay, let's just use my torch because I actually see the dark. Oh, I didn't know that would actually work. Uh, I get it, I've only booted this up basically to about here. That's it, I haven't really touched much of this game. Going for a very Aztec feel, I take it. It's over here, oh, dead end. It's over here. Oh, dead end. Looks like the Punisher has left his mark here. Oh yes, big massive door, what could possibly go wrong? Oh. Dragged in. Nice art style. I like where it's going. Okay. No idea what's going on. I'm sure it's going to tell me what I have to do. Okay, now going back. Light and darkness. Light reveals hidden traps. Standing in darkness increases all damage you take, plus 50%. Watch out for the indication at the bottom of your screen to know if you're standing in light or in darkness. Ah, okay. The torch. Use the torch action to equip and attack with your torch. Torch can spread fire to blazers or enemies. Elements on fire spread light around them. Okay. There'd be light. Okay. Dodge and stamina. Use the dodge action to quickly roll and evade enemy attacks or traps. Each dodge requires a stamina point visible to the feet of your character. Once the stamina is depleted, you cannot dodge anymore. Stop attacking or dodging for a short time to replenish the stamina. Okay. So it's got like a dark souls. Okay. Okay. So I have to dodge ten times. 
basic combat. Use action, attack actions to equip and with your weapons, chain multiple main attacks to trigger a powerful finisher. Shoot. Secondary attack to shoot. Each finisher and rage attacks. Okay. 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 Need to dodge. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Okay. I'm assuming dodging is going to be the big thing about this. Advanced combat. Hold down the main attack for a while to cause a charge attack. Requires one stamina point. Or a secondary attack for a while to release a perfect time to trigger more damage. A perfect shot. Chain together secondary attacks. Okay. Replenishes in this bit because it's a tutorial. Oh shit. Okay. So these are like Aztec zombies. Advanced defense, perfect dodge. Okay, so. I have to... Oh. Okay, I have to parry as well. Cost two to parry. Okay. I can parry. Okay, I'm just I'm just dodging out the way. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you die as much. I'm really shit at this. This is even, I'm not gonna last. Okay, so I can parry enemies. I just need to dodge twice. Okay, done one. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. End of training. Continue to the end of the room to start your journey through the temple. If you want more practice, use the interaction at the center of the marker. Okay, more hits. Okay, so if we want to do more practicing, there we go, I can use that. Let's use my torch to see where I'm going. Ooh, okay. Jade rings are gifts from the dead gods to those who overcome the trials of the temple. Jade rings are bound to your character and persist after death. After each exclamation, you can trade jade rings in the other one to gain access to new gear. Crystal skulls. God, this is gonna be a, like Kingdom of the Crystal Skull with Indiana Jones. Oh, Jesus Christ. Crystal Skulls are powerful artifacts you can collect from fallen enemies, and Crystal Skulls are bound to your character and persist after death, so the right to trade in the Jade ones. Between each Relation, you can trade crystals to exchange for permanent upgrades. So these are like upgrading your abilities. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Give me all the loot. Okay. Okay. Each temple is assembled of rooms linked together. Each room type represents the main reward you can expect to find in it. Each time you complete a room, you can choose your path to progress through the temple. Use the map action during the information to consult the temple. Okay. Okay, that's the next room. Okay. Let's go with this one. Corruption. Watch out for the corruption gauge at the bottom of your right screen. Each door you go through increases your corruption. For each gauge, you become more corrupted, and crossing the next door will curse you. Save available. Okay. okay. 
Okay. The Pantheon. Okay, that's going to be the gods. Okay. We have a lot here around here. That's fine. Oh, great. That's not fair. You can't just put traps. Oh, I should have parried that. I'm gonna try and parry. Okay, it's not worth me parrying. Greed. After defeating an enemy, the greed kill timer starts. Chain of kills to increase your greed kill and count the amount. Oh, so it increases the amount of gold you get. Okay. Hit enemies with perfect dodges, parries, we fill the timer, greed kill, series sets. Okay. I have a spear. Okay. Two handed weapons. You use two handed weapons. Okay. These are like explosives. Whoa. Okay. I don't. I'm not usually a big fan of roguelikes. Like I like Hades just because it's it's unique. I keep trying to. Block if you look. Okay. Ooh. Offering. When you interact with a weapon, relic, or attribute, also you can make an offering to the guards to play one of the three presenting boons. The boons. Who's boons? These boons? Make a gold offering to spend gold for it. Make a blood offering to get it for free at the cost of corruption. Okay. I really don't have any tokens, so I can't really offer any. And I don't really want to offer blood. Well, I don't know what happens if I die. Plenty of gold. Okay, that, that was a trap, so we want to avoid the traps. Okay. What's over here? Oh, can't go that way. That's just stupid of me. So I'm getting corruption by doing. He's back. I can't really block them. I'm, I'm, I'm building up corruption. Okay. Um. I'll take more health. Health seems like a good thing. Okay, there's more attribute. Okay. Attributes! Each 
Earn powers of dead gods to improve your attributes during the run. Constitution, dexterity. Okay. So I can't offer both, but I can offer one of these two. Okay. I'm going to take off the gold to increase my health. That seems like a good thing to do. So I'm assuming at the top there's a boss. Your encryption doesn't go a lot. Oh dear, what's happening? Creeping gloom. The greatest lessons pain teaches is that everything can be lost at a given moment. Light, hope, and life itself. Taking damage triggers a wave of darkness, extinguishing any flames in the source. You deal 20. You do ten you did plus ten percent damage while in the light. So anything that I'm in the dark is bad. So every time I take damage, it goes dark again. So it's like Darkest Dungeon. It's like a thing where in Darkest Dungeon where you get negative traits. Okay. Save available. Can I save? Uh, no, okay, save and quit, okay. Oh god. That was timing me. If you don't run out of ammo, that's a good thing. Oh god. Oh, this one's a tougher one. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Oh, that didn't even hit me. Oh, they destroyed the bloody thing. That's not fair. You can't just destroy the light. Jesus. Okay, so I can increase, but I don't have enough. Okay. So I need to be a bit more careful in where... Do stuff, okay. On to the next room. Oh no! I'm getting more corruption as I go along. I'm gonna die in this next room. This is it. This is the end game. Oops, there's a lot of them. I die. Once you get them, once you start hammering at them, it seems to be fine. Oh! Okay, I didn't know that was a fire thing. Uh, oh, take it. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Well, I'm gonna die. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh god!
Oh, shit. Okay, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of... Um... Ow! Ow! Oh, oh, am I on 15 health? This is not going as I expected. What the hell is that thing? Oh! Oh! The Blood Hunter Huts. New record. Oh, I'm back here again. Oh, something happened. Oh. The Underworld. The Underworld is a place between life and death where the dark and dead gods slumber. Use the interactional icon in the center steel and main room to access the Underworld. There you can offer crystal skulls and jade god jade rings for the gods to new upgrades. All upgrade all underworld upgrades have persistence. Okay. I don't really want to use it. Okay, these are permanent. Okay, for sake of my memory. I can alter us. I can alter us and make it. Okay. And divine favors. Okay. What was this? I've missed this bit. Okay. Okay, so I can afford to spend Game Fury. So these are permanent upgrades. I can only have one at a time. Okay, and these cost Jade. So how many have we got? I've got 14. So I can buy at least two that are five. Traps deal 100% more damage to your enemies. Uh, game 1000 gold, five to start the game. Fire limits farther and other damage taken. That'd be useful. I'll take that one. Okay, these are now. These are melee weapons. Okay, I can't afford any of them. Okay, knives. The basic knives. Spark hammer. These seem like dual wielding weapons. Oh, that could be useful. Provides passive illumination. That could be useful. Um, I'll take that. I think that pretty much sums up what Curse of the Dark Dead Gods is. Um, that pretty much sums it up. It's a roguelike, you're going to die a lot. Um, So if I want to get rid of them, I can't get rid of get to find them in the world. Death death lives. Dead eyes. Headless guardians. That's the limit. The spinning attack and the blood priests. Okay. <laughs> I killed that guy by pushing him into the fucking trap. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there for this episode of Give It A Go. I kind of enjoy this. It's like yeah, it's like Hades, but a little bit more darker. Um, and a lot more like the corruption and stuff like that seems like an interesting concept and the guns and shit take how do we equip them can't really seem to equip them uh, yeah, anyway I'm going to leave it there for this episode um, I've just released a new episode of Instant Replay which is Warhammer 40k Space Marine check that out also check all the other videos in this give it a go series until the next episode which i don't know what will be in the next episode actually for this one it might be cyberpunk actually i need to get, get back into cyberpunk um but yeah i'll see you in the next video bye bye